Yo, howdy. Welcome to this week's episode of Tristan Take Video. Coming to you this week from the island of Gran Canaria off the coast of the Western Sahara in Africa. We got down here two evenings ago after a pretty crazy day of travel and we're down here for an attacker photo shoot. We're shooting for two days, real run and garden trip. We're coming up to the end of day two. So I'm about to take you through what we've done the last 48 hours. For the moment, let's just run a little bit more B-roll of this incredible looking place. So today is Tuesday and I've had an absolutely crazy last couple of weeks. Last week I was down in Alicante for the riding trip with Ben and then I left on Saturday, got back to Girona real late on Saturday night and then I literally left my bike in its bike bag, I did a load of washing and then I headed out on Sunday morning, headed for the airport and to meet Kira. Good morning Kira. She has arrived. So I met up with Kira, we headed to the airport, we caught the train down to Barcelona and then a taxi out to Barcelona airport. We got to Barcelona airport nice and early because our flight was around midday and there was an absolutely massive queue of people there waiting for the flight. All right, got to the airport, we were here well on time. Massive line, ran our way to the gate, got here and they tell us that the flight's overbooked and uh, we can't get on this one, so we gotta wait another four hours. Yay. So anyway, they ended up booking us on the next flight which was a few hours later, so we got to know the inside of Barcelona airport pretty well. And eventually we caught our 4 p.m. flight across to Gran Canaria. All right, we've made it through. Second time lucky. The flight from Barcelona down to Gran Canaria is about two and a half hours. So I had a little sleep on the plane, did some work and looked out the window at the view. We got down to Gran Canaria just as the sun was setting. Pretty cool. I've never been down to Gran Canaria or the Canary Islands before. It's a really unique landscape, which is why Attacker wanted to use it for this photo shoot. It's interesting, Gran Canaria, having never been here before, I wasn't actually sure how busy or how full of people it would be. It's actually a really busy island. There was quite a lot of traffic, but I think that's because all of the people are sort of secluded to the outside perimeter of the island because it's a big volcano in the center. So people don't really travel through the center. So we got to our accommodation. We met up with Mark, who is a photographer from Australia, and Toby, who is the videographer. Grabbed a quick bite to eat, then it was home to build up our bikes. Then it was early to bed so we could get up and have an early start for Monday morning. New kid day. So we got up on Monday morning and uh, we headed out the door in time for sunrise, started driving up this mountain and as we got higher and higher up, the sun started coming out. So these islands down here, Tenerife, Gran Canaria and a couple of others are super impressive visually, especially early in the morning or late in the afternoon. We did our first shots on this kind of sunlight lit corner and then we did our second location just down a bunch of switchback hairpins on this amazing looking climb descent. We went up and down a few times, the boys shooting out the back of the car. For the first time ever, I'm watching someone else shoot out the back of the car and I'm not shooting out the back of the car. Quite interesting for me to ride for a photo shoot. It's less stressful than being behind the camera, but it's also a bit of work. You're still kind of climbing and descending quite hard. Alrighty, so just done location one. Did uh, the early morning stuff over by the rock over there with that nice light coming over the top. And then we've just come down to a second little location, literally 50 meters roll away. We haven't had a single car pass us in the entire morning we've been here and it's now 11 o'clock. Good to hang out with Mark. Mark is an old mate of mine from Australia. Big wig commercial photographer. Shout out Mark Clinton. Give him a follow down on the gram if you're not already Ready. and uh, Toby Wilson as well on the video with his red weapon, which is the name of that camera. It's literally called a weapon. Toby said it was pretty hard to get the red imported into the country for him because it's called a weapon and it came in a big case and it looks like a uh, proper piece of machinery. So should make for a sick video. So day one, morning one in Gran Canaria. What do you think so far? It's one of those places where you look every anywhere and you're like, I want to film this. I want to photograph this. I want to look at it. And it's, yeah, it's really dreamy. Just slamming the door. Wait, wait, I'll do mine. You ready? Do yours. <laughs> How do people know you're in a car if you don't slam the door? Location DOS. It's gonna look really nice. Like coming out of there. I think so. Beautiful, mate. Alrighty, so we're on to 
I guess we're gonna call it our second location. We had some lunch just then. Probably copping a whole bunch of sunburn because we're much closer to the equator down here. Now we've driven along this amazing Canyon Valley Road coming all the way down through the island. It feels like we've kind of come down into a volcano. Now we're at uh, the second location. Mark wants to shoot inside this tunnel here. So we're about to uh, lace up. I've got the new race jersey on. This is the race 2.0. Kira's wearing the race 2.0 as well. This morning we're wearing the all day jersey. So a bit of a change of line. Let's get into a bit of afternoon photography and some harsh light with those cool looking rocks behind us. And then once we were done with that location, we headed off to another location, a bit more driving. We were doing about 45 minutes driving between each place. We got to this really cool looking gorge and we used this kind of strange abandoned building as a backdrop, which is one of the things that if I was shooting here, I wouldn't have chosen that, but Mark saw something in it and we shot there for a little while. And I think the shots will have come out really unique from that. Then we headed off to another location, which was down towards the coast. And as we got there, the sun was setting and you had this incredible golden light sort of streaming along the coast as we were driving. We got there just in time for sunset. Oh yeah, last location. Last location? Last location. Right. Off today anyway. Go and Woo! get some of that sunset. All right, so up to our last location of the day. This is probably the sickest spot I've ever stood and looked at a view in cycling kits. Pretty wild along this road, this crazy windy coast road. Super beautiful to be here. We found a little spot to pull over. Now we're gonna shoot these last few shots in this gorgeous afternoon golden sunlight. I kind of wish I was shooting at this point. Sick background, Mark and Toby are absolutely killing it. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with a bit more afternoon photography. Once we were done with that final location down on the coast, uh, we headed home and then it was off to bed because we had another early morning start this morning. So we packed up the bikes this morning, rolled out the door, headed out to our first location for sunrise. We got there a little bit after sunrise, but that was okay. Mark likes shooting in some quite harsh light. He's not into that real early morning light or late, late afternoon light that I would usually like to shoot in. So we're out on day two, just gotten into the race ultra aero jersey. And Mark's been shooting me against these rocks. What's super interesting as a photographer for me is that because I'm so used to my own style of photography and I'm used to being behind the camera, it's actually really interesting to be in front of the camera and see the way that another photographer works. Mark and I have been mates for years and I've seen him shoot a lot. He actually assisted me on uh, first wedding that I ever shot. So we've been working together for a while, but seeing where he's at now, he's in a real sort of commercial phase of his photography career, doing quite big advertising jobs and things like that. And we're out here shooting in some super harsh light. And usually this is the kind of light that I would hate to shoot in because it's just too bright and too contrasty. But the way that Mark works works with the light and the shadow of this valley that we're in now has been super interesting. It was sort of working with the darkness in the background and then this bright sunlight really playing off that light and shadow, that contrast, and also playing with some slow shutter stuff, which is always fun, a bit more abstract, a bit more um, more artistic. So yeah, really fun to see the way that Mark works in this kind of situation. So we've just wrapped up this location and now we're about to go and head down. I think we're gonna go and grab a brew. We'll keep rolling and keep enjoying this amazing scenery. Grand Canary at delivering. coast just kind of come up to like the north eastern side northwestern side of the island so let's go and find the crew and go and shoot some more photos
10 points if I get this Harry bow in my mouth. Yeah, let's see where we go. Oh! Nailed it. Alright, getting pretty tired now on to the second last location of day two. We we're just down at the coast and then we drove up this amazing winding road to get back up to where we are now where there are these, what the boys are calling rainbow rocks up there. I'm back in the Czech long sleeve jersey that we shot yesterday morning. As you can see the sleeves on this are pretty sick so it kind of matches the rocks a little bit and a cool way to get some colour consistency. The boys are going for a little hike up the edge of a cliff there. So we're going to shoot a little bit more down here and then I think we're heading to one more location in a little while. Sick. How's the Larry look back to the just later bowl? Just full. Look here, how mad's that? Oof, alrighty, and that wraps up a big two days of photography in Grand Canaria. Real fly in, fly out trip, but uh, we got heaps of shots, hit heaps of locations, saw this island, which is amazing, well worth coming back to. It's super accessible if you want to come down here and do some mid winter riding where the temperature is always around 15 to 25 or even 30 degrees in January, February and March. So a cool place to visit. For the moment, we're just packing up and then we've got a 7 a.m. flight back to Barcelona and then we head up to Girona. A big thank you to the boys and girls from Attacker for bringing me out here to be a part of this photo shoot. And of course, to Kira McVidia as well for joining. I think she's making a vlog as well. So feel free to check that out on her channel. And also of course to Mark Clinton and Toby Wilson for photoing and videoing and making us look good. And I think that is about all I'll say. I'm exhausted now, time to go home, rest the legs, rest the head, edit some videos and uh, get back to riding my bike a bit more. All right, chat to you later. Adieu. you. Thank you.